Marvell and AWS, baby, were trading EDA for chips. So uh, a couple mega trends going on here. So first off is uh, when you have spiky workloads like EDA, and and for those who don't know what EDA is, I'm going to ask you, don't yawn when I'm talking. <laughs> Be nice, man. No. Uh, EDA is electronic design automation, and that's essentially the software and services that are used to uh, build, uh, test, verify IP blocks, chips, and SOCs. So uh, what has happened is uh, these the, the two leaders in this, Cadence and uh, Synopsys, have added AI uh, to these. Uh, and, and so we got into a situation where they turned into spiky workloads, right? You could 10x the amount of CPUs and GPUs uh, against it, and you would get a, an answer quicker. And when it comes to time to market for something like uh, an IP block, uh, a chip, or an SOC, uh, time is money. Uh, and also, you can reduce the amount of people who, who are actually working on it, which is which is a, a big thing. Uh, we saw that uh, through Cadence with its Verisium platform that says it can improve debug uh, by by 10x. So, a spiky workload where you know you 10x it. Um, is really good for the public cloud because you don't have to have 10x your normal uh, compute uh, like you would have if you if you did it on prem. It's kind of like retail, right? Where where they have very spiky workloads around uh, holidays, right? And that's why a lot of the retailers have moved uh, their burst capability uh, into the uh, in, into the public cloud, but. So that is what uh, EDA is, and Marvell announced that it was moving EDA to uh, AWS's uh, public cloud. They weren't clear exactly um, which uh, which instances, which services, which you know file system, uh, but that's okay. I've got a link in the Forbes article that uh, that, that shows you uh, kind of what they could do. The second part of the announcement was that for the first time, uh, AWS um, is, is, you know, admitting that Marvell is a big uh, uh, customer. And I think you and I both knew that uh, just based on the space that Marvell was in. And when they talk about how well they do in cloud and, and what they offer, uh, you would probably be in the minority if you are not using a Marvell uh, piece of, of 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 silicon. So, um, not a surprise to me. Again, you know whether it's cloud storage, electro optics, DPUs, networking, hardware security modules. Uh, they're really a leader uh, uh, in that. And they also have something that I think is very unique. There's only a few vendors that can provide this is a very flexible business model, right? You can buy chips from them as a merchant silicon provider. Uh, <clears throat> they partner where they will put uh, your IP in their SOC. Uh, heck, they'll build uh, an entire custom ASIC uh, and they compete very heavily with uh, Broadcom on this. And then, heck, they'll integrate it. You know, you want a merchant uh, solution from them uh, added to a custom ASIC uh, added to uh, partner IP, uh, they can do this uh, as uh, as well. So win-win for both companies. I was really impressed to see um, Dave Brown doesn't quote a lot. Uh, we've had Dave Brown on the 6.5, I think two or three times. And um, it's hard, you know, you don't see him get, giving a lot of, of support quotes, but we absolutely got a big support quote uh, from him and, and people can't uh, look at that too lightly. Massive show of support. Yeah, I think uh, streamlining silicon design processes, of course, are going to be looked upon favorably here. It's, you know, it seemed like it was a little light in terms of the depth of the news and exactly how this is going to set up in AWS's ecosystem, but I could see the value of the partnership. Marvell wants to sell more chips to AWS and AWS is going to continue to build and optimize silicon. And it seems like it's a, it's a really nice tie up pat. Didn't couldn't read into anything. Didn't see anything specifically about the numbers or the expected size of the deal um, and what it means for each company to me. Like I said, it really reads more like a, you know, cooperation, collaboration, um, you know, core investment to, you know, 
uh, streamlined designing, debugging, uh, verification of, of, of IP blocks. So, uh, you know, you hit most of it for me. Uh, it just looks like something that could be done faster, being optimized. And of course, like I said, it never hurts when you're a company like Marvell that's providing technology to many of the world's largest cloud scale companies and other industries as well to be tied up with the largest public cloud company, the infrastructure uh, public cloud company in the world. So it was a good win for um, for Matt and Rajiv and team. And of course, like you said, Dave Brown uh, tends to be careful to lend his name to anything except for the 6.5 comes on all the time. <laughs> Um, and so it's, it was, you know, it's indicative of how confident he is in the partnership. 